I mean, I think we we came at halftime and understood that we came out a little slow, a little sluggish. Uh, weren't playing. I, I'm guilty of it for sure. Just not getting 50-50 balls, not not getting offensive rebounds for us. Uh, trying to leak out, get points like points like that. Uh, came at halftime, talked about it, figured it out, um, and you know, went through however many guys we have on the team, 10, 12. It, it was collective effort to. Get those bull, get those boards. Help Willie out on the on the rebounds, and then just get out and go. You guys see? Uh, Tyler, do you ever have to remind the guys? I know they're out there trying to play hard, but do you ever have to remind them, like, hey, like we're playing for something, even if they're kind of just going through the motions, like a pickup game? Like, no, this isn't a pickup game. We gotta go pull out. Um, not really. You know, these guys are professionals, so they they didn't come out here to waste their time. We're all out here for you know taking time out of our schedules to be here weeks at a time. And you know we understand the goal at hand. Uh, the game started a little, you know, slow today, but you know these guys picked it up, understood what we needed to do, and they, they got the win. And saying that the guys did, you know, they were having fun out there in the second half. It was kind of fun for you to see all these guys kind of get high, and then everyone was kind of smiling on the bench. Of course, you know it started with the effort. You know, once they start giving the effort defensively, uh, getting those loose balls, uh, stopping them guys from getting offensive rebounds, you know, it's contagious. Uh, Willie started to block shots, flying around, getting steals, you know. Then the offense comes easy, we get easy buckets. Nate starts making threes, he starts making threes. So, you know, it's just contagious when you start, when you bring that in energy. Now, uh, Tyler, you guys, through that first quarter and the, even the second quarter, you guys were really playing through Karen when everybody was kind of struggling, other people were kind of struggling. Just what's it like to have that constant there in the first half? And I, I see like a lot of people kind of, this is an honorary Wildcat now. So just kind of talk on how you guys play through him there in the first half. Um, you know, I didn't really see it as other guys struggling. You know, Karam's a, a monster in there, so, you know, we were just playing through him. Uh, I think everything looked that way because of how we were playing defensively. Um, not getting those rebounds, not getting those loose balls. You know, we couldn't get out in transition, couldn't get the easy baskets. And, you know, once we started doing that is when everybody started kind of, you know, scoring themselves. And the electricity broke. <laughs> Karam, you had 20, I think you had, what, 21 and 12 in the first game. I think that's about right, 26 and nine tonight. What is it about playing with these guys? Just a little bit of a good game. What is it about playing with these guys that's just allowed you to kind of just play really free and basically dominate the first two games of this season? I'm appreciative for them for accepting me as a teammate, as a brother, you know, me uh, coming here and uh, not going to Kentucky. Uh, I just want to be aggressive. Uh, last two games, I felt like we had advantage uh, with our size. Uh, we wanted to pound the ball inside and uh, we've been successful uh, doing that. But we have uh, so many different guys that can do so many things. So one day it could be in the paint, other like, day it could be uh, dribble drive, threes, uh, reverse stopping. Aaron, hey, have you impressed yourself so far through these two games? I mean, would you have thought you've been averaging basically a double double for two games? Well, not really. I mean, if you look at the past two years, I've, I've had a good individual success so far in CBT. I had a couple of uh, game week shots at Pumas as well. So I have that experience. But also, all these guys, uh, I feel like this tournament kind of reminds me of March Madness, and all of us, we had great success in the tournament. Then with Kentucky, me and uh, Xavier. It's winter, go home, and uh, we, we're not here to waste, waste time. We want to uh, take advantage of what's given to us. Nate, you guys, last night you at first were struggling to get those threes falling, but then when that one finally fell, it kind of felt like a weight lifted. But it seems like that carried over tonight, and you were getting those deep balls falling for you tonight. How was it to kind of feel and get, get really going in rough again? Man, uh, it's, I mean, it's a testament to my teammates too, you know, believing in me and, and trusting me, the, the work that I, you know, I put in as a, as a professional. Uh, but, you know, from, from Tyler all the way down through to the little guys on the end of the bench cheering for you when you hit one, and it starts getting a little bit bigger and the crowd gets going. Uh, and Rupp Arena's, you know, infectious. As soon as you hit one, they start going. You start feeling, feeling great. And then it's just second nature. It's kind of like breathing now. So uh, I had to get all those misses out the first game. Figure it out. Uh, hopefully, cares over into Tuesday. Coach team upcoming next game. They've had a lot of success in this tournament. Have you had the chance to maybe watch them before your game? What have you seen from them, and what are you guys looking forward to doing? Um, I haven't watched them enough to really speak on them. Uh, we got to go back and watch some film. Um, I'm, I just want to focus on our guys. You know, if we do what we need to do, um, I feel like it'll be hard to beat us. So you know, we're going to go back to the drawing board and you know, see what we got to do. Tyler, you guys have shown real flashes of dom dominance in multiple quarters. Um, do you guys think you've hit a peak, or is there another level that you guys think you guys can get to? Um, 
Well, I hope we didn't get our peak in the second game. Uh, but, you know, I just feel like when these guys give the effort and the energy, we have the skill, we have the talent. Uh, when they give, you know, 110% and do what they did in the second half, you know, it's just going to be hard to beat. You know, obviously, everyone is here for the same reason, you know, and, you know, we're just going to keep fighting. A couple last questions. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah.